Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Ladies and gentlemen A very good day to everyone tuning into this web conference Whether it is morning or afternoon in your respective countries As a Chief Executive Officer of the Social Security Organization SOCSO of Malaysia Which is the co-hosting this event along with the World Association of Public Employment Services WIPS and Korea Employment Information Services uh, KEYS it is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to WIPS Asia Pacific Regional Conference 2020. The theme of this conference is addressing the impact of COVID-19 on the labor market. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Ms. Eva Mary Mozuri, the WIPS Executive Secretary, Mr. Abdul Munim Al Madani, the WIPS President and Chief Executive Officer of ANAPEC Morocco and Mr. Yong Don Na, the WIPS Asia Pacific Vice President and KISS President, for making time together at this virtual conference despite your busy schedules. We are honored by your presence and hope that you, like all our participants, will find this conference both engaging and informative. On behalf of SOCSO Malaysia, I would like to apologize for not being able to host the conference physically as previously planned. Due to ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, we had no choice but to switch to a virtual form format. Thanks to the advances in technology, a virtual conference can be organized as efficiently or better than a physical conference. Nonetheless, we remain eager to host you in Malaysia and hope that you can all visit our beautiful country once the pandemic is over. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may have noticed from our virtual conference format, there is not a single aspect of our lives that has not been touched by COVID-19. Many of us are working from home and limiting our activities outside to prevent the spread of the disease. Even then, we are so we, even then we are the lucky ones. Many workers worldwide have either lost their jobs or forced to accept pay cuts or take prolonged unpaid leave as companies' incomes are squeezed by plummeting revenues. Across the Asia Pacific region, containment efforts have met with mixed success. Few countries have largely been successful in controlling the spread of the disease while others are still figuring out the best strategies. Nonetheless, even if we manage to control the disease within our own borders, our exports and tourism-related sectors such as accommodation, food and beverage, and the airline industry are still vulnerable due to weak demand as the virus rages worldwide. We also cannot pin our hopes solely on the two recently announced vaccine by Pfizer or BioNTech, and Moderna as it could take months to manufacture, ship and administer the vaccines to everyone in the need. In the meantime, hundreds and thousands of businesses might be forced to close down and millions of livelihood would be affected. We therefore must respond to the calls by the United Nations Development Programme to act quickly and decisively decis 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 to minimize the socio-economic costs of the pandemic. As an, occasion, as an association of public employment services, PS, agencies, we are gathered here today to share insights on mitigating the impact of COVID-19 on the labor market via economic stimulus packages and active labor market policies that safeguard health, employment, and social security. In line with WIP's commitment to diversity and promoting equal opportunities, we are pleased to welcome past representatives from three continents, which is Asia, Europe, and Africa, who will share their experience in implementing economic stabilization programs in their respective countries with us. We are also grat grateful for the participation of experts from SOCIO, an agency of European Union that provides expertise in social protection, labor and employment, as well as from the International Labor Organization, ILO. 
We are confident that their research back recommendations will prove helpful to all PES officers present with the developing economics intervention frameworks to support workers and businesses through the worst impact of the pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia's experience with COVID-19 proves that we cannot be complacent in the face of rap a rapidly evolving pandemic. Just a few months ago, we had the virus spread mostly under control. Business were operating normally and the public was free to travel wherever they wanted within Malaysian borders. In early October, it all changed. The number of new daily cases, which used to be in single digit, spiked into, higher, into high hundreds and even exceeded the thousand figures marked on some days. Left with no choice, the government was forced to declare a partial lockdown to limit the spread. Luckily, Soxo Malaysia, through our employment insurance system, EIS, which is barely three years old, has been at the forefront in saving the businesses from collapse and preserving millions of employments. Since mid-June 2020, Soxo EIS has been transformed into public employment services through our new job portal, My Future Jobs. Besides assisting tens of thousands of workers who lost their jobs and income by dispersing unemployment insurance benefits immediately, SOXO EIS implements various types of ELMP via government's economic stimulus package, such as employment retention program, wage subsidy program, reskilling and upskilling, hiring incentives programs, mobility assistance, and subsidizing social security coverage for gig workers. All these labor market interventions implemented by SOXO has managed to cushion the economic blow of the COVID-19 which would have crippled Malaysia economy and the labor market. If the current partial lockdown lasts longer than expected, we already have the government's forward looking into active labor market policy to thank for saving hundreds of thousands or millions of jobs. Dire as the situation may seem, I believe that we will all emerge stronger from the current crisis if we continue collaborating with and learning from each other as per WIP's values. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to conclude on this hopeful note by expressing my sincere gratitude to my colleague at WIP's, Keys and SOXO, whose hard work and cooperation have made this conference possible. The success of this conference is truly a testament as to what we can achieve if we cooperate in pursuit of a common goal. I would like to thank all of our international speakers who have kindly volunteered to share their expertise with us. I look forward to your presentations, which I hope would contribute to the formulation of SOXO policies in the future. I wish you all a pleasant conference and the best of luck in combating the pandemic. Thank you. I yield the floor back to the MC. Thank you.